This motorhome is a Le Voyageur LV 7.2 JGF. It costs 122 and a half uh, thousand euros. Well, uh, that's the stock kickoff price, and this one's going to cost nearer 141,000. Three sitting places. Oh, that's unusual. Four plus one, well, one being an option, sleeping places, that's even more unusual. Uh, interior uh, height of uh, two meters, external 295, 133 liter fridge inside. And on a five and a half ton basis, uh, you're gonna get a absolute stack of payload in it if you wanted to take it up that far. This is on a, a Fiat base. This means currently you're going to have to wait a long time after ordering it. And if you ordered one today, you wouldn't actually know when you're going to get it. Um, uh, this vehicle has a double floor and on entering one would or one could uh, take off one's shoes and stick them down there. And since I've got this open, I shall show you how deep it is by putting my foot in and it almost, but not quite, comes up to the bottom of my knee. So that is an excellent double floor, certainly amongst the best. And for that, I'd have to quote other Frankia company, uh, sorry, other pilot company, Frankia and uh, Cartago and Heimer. They've also got good double floors in them as well. So here we've got two single beds at the back and I'm presuming there's a way of making them into a this into an enormous uh, single bed a uh, double bed uh, if, if required enormous bed that's a better way of putting it down there we've got an unusual very unusual uh, wardrobe for which you have to crouch to get in I think that's uh, that's thinking out the box here we have a drawer with a high side on that and uh, no high side on that side. I wonder why that is. And some more drawers in here. Very good. There's also, of course, storage in the step up to the bed down there. Right, uh, so if I come to the back, I'll have a sit on the mattress which I now think uh, is something I'm going to, I should really be doing. And I'll have a look, there it is. You can see inside the storage area. Don't really know why uh, it's uh, sort of higher at one and not the other. Maybe it's something to do with headroom, uh, but do note that this has been profiled, so there's no sharp edges. Oh, well, I don't suppose you hit yourself. Sorry, I don't suppose you hit yourself there. And it's uh, the same at the other side as well. Uh, nice lighting up there. We've also got ways of turning the lights off. So you don't have to get out of bed to do so. I note that there is a USB above the ledge, uh, which is above the, uh, the curtains here. And to that, there's also some additional storage on this side. There you go. There's the additional storage. And it, there's also a USB hub on this side as well, so it's a mirror image. Uh, here we can uh, close the door, which leads, the, and we can see here this wonderful large shower. Now, I know I've said this before, I'm going to say it again. This has to be one of the best showers in the business. Great. There is actually a hose with a shower head on it, they've taken it off to stop other people taking it off. And on this side, you can even close this off as well. There's a door here, which will come across. It's blocked at the moment by this thing up there. Let's see if I can do it with one hand. Oh, I can. And closes like this. Of course, I do prefer, as I've said in videos in the past, I do prefer a cloth door. The reason for a cloth door is it doesn't rattle. Uh, mind you, hey. Well, that isn't rattling yet either, so that's a positive sign. Uh, very large toilet as well. Uh, it's got a, this bowl in here, which I think may look very modern at home. I don't think it works very well in a vehicle. Uh, what do you think? Note how big the shower is as well. Look, all this space in the shower, it's, 
it's absolutely enormous so you, even for very tall people two meters of clearance inside the vehicle so uh, that's not too bad uh, this being a french vehicle has a french look to it and we can see this color which is white it's very french see um you see a lot of this in vehicles from france uh, people driving around with uh, this as well don't see so much of it here in uh, north of the alps well mind you a lot of france isn't is north of the alps as well isn't it so anyway well a lot of france is west of the alps more the point sink is a winner look at that it's got a proper domestic a drainage it's a good size it's deep that is just the job for storing your plates for months on end uh, and unwashed that's a, it's just the sort of thing there should be in a motorhome and it doesn't really cost any more take any more space up than these daft round ones that some people put in them there's two burners in here there would of course be uh, knobs down there uh, they have also been removed for the uh, reason i mentioned earlier a very large space between them great uh, as far as i'm concerned so that's another positive sign uh, drawers let's have a little, move this one out they've got proper walls to them let's see if the one the bottom's got a proper wall this hasn't got a proper wall and so that's a that's a lower mark for that it'd be better if it did have one uh, we'll have a look at the double floor, which I mentioned earlier. And down here, oops, I would expect to see the water tank and a presto. That's where the black water tank is. And these things are really, really fiddly. In fact, they're so fiddly, I'm thinking twice before lifting this one up. This is fiddliness as part of the pilot group uh, for things in the floor. That du deep double floor. Table will move around. I think the table's pretty big. I'll show you the bed coming down. Only the the uh, the trade fair is still on, so I don't really want to actually bring it down. Uh, but you can see from down here how uh, how uh, big it is. Uh, one of the problems, of course, is you can't stand up um, properly under the bed because you're gonna bang your head unless you're particularly short wonderful large skylight and it's got a tula fan up there as well another good thing on this side we find one of these dometic fridges which opens both ways and that and that was on because i got a nice blast of cold air it's pretty hot here although it has cooled down it's not it's not in the mid 30s as it was earlier if you want to watch the television there's one here and there's also this to store things in as you're leaving your electronics are up there so you can see what's going on right this chair here uh, there's a seat belt there and uh, you can it says sit three one two three sleeping for four you can make it actually you can also make a bed down here as well so you can actually sleeping for five sits three sleeps five that is unusual i want to take you uh, for a walk around the outside but note uh, there is a door there as well in fact i might be able to get to that door but I'll, I'll try i'll try and uh, here storage in the side here an integrated van you never get a uh, well, almost never i should say get a door in there let's uh let's come outside right uh so we've got these outer uh, that that are for storage and uh, you can see that the rear garage is absolutely brilliant uh, sized as well uh, so it's got uh, alco chassis it's got um it says alde compatible uh heating and let's have a look at it around here <laughs> 
So you can see there's a door on this side. We've got all these storage compartments as well. So uh, what do I like? I like the um, I like the uh, double floor. I like the way it's built. I like the chassis. I um, could do without that bed up front, but that's an option anyway. I like the amount of light that's coming in because the bed system wouldn't suit me, but uh, it might suit uh, it might suit somebody. I think the kitchen's got a great amount of space in it, even though it may only have two hobs. Uh, yeah, there. There's some good points. So anyway, um, I upload every day at 21.15 if you want to, uh, to see any of my videos. Sometimes I actually open the weekends, I might upload even two. Even, I've even known to open, upload three two times a day at uh, towards the end of the year. So uh, thanks for watching, thanks for being with me and uh, all the best from me in Dusseldorf, Germany.